Hello everyone, my name is Victoria Nicole and welcome to my channel. He, this is where we let makeup come to play. Creativity, Halloween, glam, beauty, everything that you would love in a video. Today we are doing this bold Valentine's Day makeup look collab with Brittany Venaccio. If you guys have not checked her out, please go check her out after this video. You will not regret it, to say the least. And also, if you came from Brittany's channel, hello, welcome to our crazy little family. I hope you guys enjoy this video and just... I don't know, Valentine's Day is such a special time. Even though it might not be anything crazy, Valentine's Day is fun. It's fun, it's exciting, it's just, you know, Valentine's Day, I'm excited. Are you guys excited for Valentine's Day? Even if it's just hanging out with your girls, your man, your husband, or your kids, I feel like Valentine's Day is always some little fun quirk, you know? it's. It's about love and romance, but it's more about joining together. Even when I was single, I always went out or did something for Valentine's Day, even if it's just for friends and family stuff. One year, I got all the women in my family little gifts. Another year, I got these huge cards for two of my best friends. Well, one of them was a best friend at the time, and another one is actually my best friend now. Actually, you know what? I wonder if she actually has that card still. I'm gonna ask her. Point is, is that Valentine's Day is always fun, especially when it comes to makeup. You can glam it up or you could tone it down. It's whatever kind of floats your boat or tickles your fancy or, you know, whatever you want, you can do. Not necessarily that every day can't be a glam day because when I'm not, like, with nothing on, I'm always glam. So it's either glam or nothing. But it's kind of fun how you can work around the pinks and the hearts and all the hearts on your face or, you know, just glam it up. Red, pink, purple sometimes too. It's just fun how you, what you can do for Valentine's Day. Now let's get on to the video. Starting with the Zueva 144 brush and the P. Louise Basin Rumor 2, and I'm packing that on the lid. And then we're going to go in with tape. I use normal scotch tape, a lot of other people use masking tape, whatever the tape you prefer. If you want to stick it onto skin first and then stick it on your face, that's fine as well. I'm just aligning it. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush, and I'm taking the Morphe and James Charles palette and going into your kidding I'm tapping it onto my eye at that outer corner Right where I want the color to be more vibrant. I want to start off where my color is Vibrant and then I want to tap the excess onto The rest of my lid to create that gradient effect Going into Tune to make sure my eyeshadow looks as gradient and blended as possible. You can never be too careful. Then Ring Light. I'm taking that on the brow bone as well as in the inner corners and I will be dragging it a little bit higher up into my eyeshadow. You'll see that later on. Now going back into your kidding, making sure everything is as beautiful as possible. And now I'm taking Boutique with a pencil brush and packing that on where I want the color to be darker. So for me, since I'm doing the cut crease, I will do it along the cut crease, but right at the corner. And then also going back into your kidding to blend it all out. Again, you can never be too careful with blending. Blend your life away. 
Now I'm going to go in to the P. Louise in Rumor 2 base. And I will be using that as a primer for the cut crease. And you'll see I am cutting that crease. It's okay to take that time. I also push my eyebrow up so it's easier to see the line of my eye. The crease of my eye, I guess you can say. I'm packing that on. Also, you want to do tapping motions when you're using the P. Louise Rumor 2 or the, any P. Louise base. It works better by packing it on with a brush and tapping it in. Because what happens is in tapping it in, you set it into place rather than other concealers. Tapping, I don't know if would really do anything, but with this P. Louise base, you want to tap. I love it because it makes you feel like you're setting it, but in reality, you're just making it a little tacky. Now I'm going to go into ring light and I'm bringing it into my lid, going into You're Kidding, then Spooky, and then going just back in with all the colors, as you can see with the same brushes. I am using the same brushes for the same colors. For the most part, that is my way of doing things. Then I'm going to go into No Beans and 10% off, I believe. And I'm going to put it in the middle to blend it out. Of course, here I want to make things as blendable, as gradient, as beautiful as possible. So you just will see me go back and forth with all the colors. Because, girl... It is a blend. You want everything to be blended as beautiful as possible. Of course, with ring light too, I will bring that in a little bit more as you can see. Now I'm going to go in with a gel eyeliner. So this is a trick that I learned just by asking people what's the darkest shade. And they said that they put gel eyeliner at the end and then pack it in with a shadow, black shadow. And that is how they make the blackest black eyeshadow. And I thought that that was such a cool trick. So I wanted to learn and I wanted to try it out today. And it's really good, let me tell you. Now I'm obviously packing that in with a black shadow. But the trick is so amazing. So as I'm going up, I'm going to use the same exact shadows that I used. So at the edge, I'm using Spooky. At the top, I'm using No Beans, then 10% off, and then You're Kidding. And I will use it to kind of make a line. You want to create that line if you're going to do this effect. Because you want it to make sure that at the edge, it's dark and not too, I don't know, too gradient, I guess. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX white liner. I think it's called the Blanc white liner. I don't know if I necessarily like this 100%, this white liner. I'm so iffy. Now I'm going to go in to the Dip Essence Dip liner. It's like a liquid gel liner. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I love it so much. It's so dark. And it's so easy to apply. I don't really like the wand so i use a normal brush i guess and now i'm gonna go in to set the eyeliner with black with the spooky black <laughs> now i'm doing the under eye so i did put some base under my eye so it's easier to blend i will be using every single color so i do use you're kidding no beans and spooky so then i am putting on my lash these are the Ilure and jasmine brown in jb collaboration they are so beautiful and dramatic i love it but they're not too long so with this look because it's so detailed i wanted to use dramatic lashes that weren't too long for my eye space sometimes i love beautiful long lashes but they don't flatter my face in taking pictures or when I want to show off. Sometimes when I want long lashes is when I'm doing like a simple look. They're not too detailed, if that makes sense. 
Now I'm going to use my duo switch, color switch, that I love so much. And I will be applying foundation. I'm going in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay in 220. The only thing is I've been iffy about this color 220. I don't know if it's exactly my shade or not because this color, this foundation does oxidize. So when you first put it on to your skin and also when you go out, it's going to be a different color. It's going to oxidize a little bit, whether it gets a little bit darker. Most of them get a little bit darker when they oxidize. So just to let you know, color swatch it and then go out to see if that is your color or not because you or at least or stay home or do something because you want to see the color for a longer period of time now i do apply first with a brush and then i kind of set it with a dry beauty blender i prefer using a dry beauty blender rather than a wet one i don't know why i've just gotten used to it because with cream foundations they set better with a dry beauty blender so I just do that. You want to tap your beauty blender into your face. You never want to swipe. You want to tap, 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 tap. You want to tap as much as you can, girl. Now, I am using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Natural Beige. Natural Beige is a little bit more yellow toned. So what happened was, is I wanted to get something a little bit more yellow toned, but now I'm thinking it might have been too yellow for my skin. So I might have to mix it more instead of just applying it straight, which I think was my issue. Because I do look a tad bit more yellow in this video if you start looking through the video. So, of course, then I go in. I also apply that with a brush just in case I want to mix it. I don't want to go straight in with the wand. And then I also tap in with a beauty blender. Now I'm using the Pixie Stick. It's called the Multi Balm. It's the bronzer shade because they have a blush that's also called the Multi Balm. But I honestly prefer this one. I like the bronzer better. The color is very nice and it's so easy to apply. Pixie is going to start being my favorite drugstore brand. I mean, I don't know if they have it in Walgreens or CVS, but I do know that they have it in Target. And girl, let me tell you, this is just the name of the game. I love using this, but also you have to make sure it is your skin tone. So test it out first. Because you don't want to start using it and then if you have a different skin tone or if you want it more cool toned rather than warm toned, it might be an issue for you. Now, of course, tapping it all in with the beauty blender. There is no way that you can use a beauty blender without tapping. Like, no way. So, I'm going into the nose. I have so much trouble with things that happen with my nose i do not know why i've been having like i have my nose is a little bit crooked so i need to use like contouring but for some reason on the bulb of my nose and the tip it always comes off so if you guys have any tips please let me know in the comments because a girl needs to save her life all right now i'm gonna go in with the laura mercier in translucent and i'm just applying it a little bit around my whole face to set it first because i don't know now i'm gonna take the benefit hula bronzer and i am just going through i'm tapping it where i want the darkest first and then I'm starting to go up to make it blend. This is a trick that I do just because I don't want it to look streaky. And I actually tap in now rather than swipe. Because for some reason, every time I swipe something, it never comes out as beautiful as when I tap in. So I started doing that a while back just with, um, with bronzer. And then now I'm starting to do it with everything else. Now I'm going to go in with the MAC 
in Melba, my favorite blush thus far. And of course, I am contouring, well, I am highlighting where I want or setting where I want my nose to look a little bit lighter. So I fix the contour a little bit. I always do this and I wait a little bit longer on my nose. I do not bake on my face, but I do bake on my nose because of my whole issue that I have with my slanted crooked nose. You might not see it, but girl, let me tell you, I do. So I want to correct that as much as possible. Now I am highlighting the part of my nose. I don't know what, I don't know how to say that. But I'm highlighting my nose. This is the highlight, the Anne Marie and Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight. I'm using a pencil brush first. It's a Morphe E something. Of course, you see the beauty. Oh, I love it. So then I'm using another Morphe brush, my highlight brush. I'll list it down below. And I just love using this brush for highlight. Before I used to use a fan brush, but now I'm starting to like this brush a lot better. I've been using it for oof, a while now. Now, you know, you gotta highlight as much as you can. Cause girl, I love that highlight. You have no idea. You have no idea. Now I'm wiping it off. This is a Luxie brush. I don't know what brush it is at this moment. And now I'm taking the NYX lip pencil. It's the suede one in Alabama. I actually love this. I love NYX lip pencils. It's amazing. It's comparable to MAC. It's so vibrant. They work very well. I love them. And they blend very nicely once you put the lipstick on. These are my favorite drugstore lip liners thus far. Like, they're amazing. NYX in general is a pretty awesome brand. Now I'm taking MAC's Fashion Legacy, and it is a beautiful red liquid lipstick. I love these liquid lipsticks because it is the least transferable. So whenever I go out, it doesn't come off. Like, it comes off if I rub it a lot, but it won't come off if I just apply it and eat and kiss. If it's just a pop kiss, obviously. You know, I just, I love it because it does not come off. And I need that when I go out. You know, you don't want to have so many lipsticks that rub off. You know, making the little final touches. So this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bold makeup look collab with Brittany V and myself. If you guys have not checked her out, please go check her out. I will list her stuff down below and I will add her videos somewhere, links somewhere around here. Also, if you guys have not checked out my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, go do so right now. Well, watch our video and then go check out my other stuff. Thank you guys so, so, so much for everything that you guys do. I really hope you use these looks in your Valentine's Day get ready your valentine's day outing whether it's with your man or your girls whether it's your husband or your kids i hope you guys have that amazing valentine's day a valentine's day is not just a holiday i'm just telling you that right now also subscribe to our channel join our little family that we got going on over here Love you guys. Bye.